Ms. Wolf, you're in court claiming revenge sex has now put your relationship in jeopardy with the defendant. You say the only way to save the family you were hoping to build is to prove to your fiancé that he fathered your three-month-old son, Zane. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Cottle, you say you're not a doctor, but when a woman is having sex with more than one man at the same time, the odds are against you. And once the results reveal you aren't the father, you want your name off the birth certificate. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And so, Miss Wolf, you came to court admitting you had revenge sex. Yes, Your Honor. Explain what that means. Um, revenge sex means that my ex-boyfriend, Lucas, he cheated on me with one of my friends. So I was talking to his friend, which was Andrew, and Andrew was, like, telling me that, you know, we should get back at them. We should have re revenge sex. We should, you know, and we did. So while I was still dating Lucas at the time, I was sleeping with Drew also. And now you all are in a relationship. Yes, Your Honor. Mm. <laughs> so, Mr. Cottle, tell me what's going on in this relationship. Is the relationship on the line for you? It is when it comes to Zane and when the fact that he's not mine. I work 24-7. I not only just work night shift, I actually wake up to go back to work, to go lump another truck, to make the extra money, to be able to buy the diapers, the wipes. So in your estimation, you are supporting Zane? In a, in a very typical kind of way, yes. So, Ms. Wolf, how serious was your relationship with Mr. Cottle's friend? We met on a dating site, and I moved in with him about, about a week after meeting him. And two weeks in our relationship, I invited my friend to come hang out with me. And while I was sleeping, I, I woke up and I went to the bedroom door, and the door was locked. So I kept pounding on the door for them to open it, and I saw my friend's underwear on the floor. So all right then and there, I knew that they had sex, and then I asked them. It was like, yeah, we did have sex, I'm sorry. So, at this point, were you in love with Mr. Chittam? At the point, yes. I was in love with him and I was very hurt. So, I took it upon myself and I texted Andrew. And that's when Andrew told me that, you know, we should have sex together to get back at them. Oh, my Lord. Isn't this just a mess? Jerome, I think I'm ready to meet this other guy. Mr. Chittam, can you please escort him into the courtroom? Yes. What is this mess? Let me go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. So, Mr. Chittam, thank you for joining us today. You were in a relationship with Ms. Wolf first. That is correct, Your Honor. And you started a sexual relationship? Yes, Your Honor. And you all were living together? That is correct. And then she said she invited her friend to come, and you and the friend slept together? That is correct. So now, how do you find out that Miss Wolf was then intimate with your friend, Mr. Cottle? Uh, one of my friends uh, texted me. So then, did you confront Miss Wolf? Yes. What did she say? Uh, she was pretty much denying it all. So you didn't want to tell the truth, Miss Wolf? Um, I did tell him that I did sleep with Andrew for the, re the revenge sex, but I did not tell him that I was continuing to sleep with Andrew. No, I did not. What is also interesting is the court uncovered a couple of Facebook photos. Now, this is you, Ms. Wolf, kissing Mr. Chittam. Yes, Your Honor. And on the bottom of that screen, which you can't see, you were a Dallas Cowboy fan. Yes, Your Honor. Then we uncovered this photo. This is you and Mr. Cottle in pretty much the exact same pose, <laughs> but a different team, because this one says Seattle Seahawks. Yes, I like both teams, ma'am. Oh! <laughs> is I like both teams. I meant... <laughs> I meant I like the, the sports teams, both teams. <laughs> but <laughs> now I think there may be more truth to your statement here in court today, that you like both teams. I did like both teams. And before. both men. Before, yes, before I had a serious relationship with Andrew. I was... So when you found out you're pregnant, who did you tell? The first person I told was Mr. Chittam. You did? Because he drove me to the hospital. Did you tell him this is your child? No, I did not, Your Honor. Uh, she told me that she was pregnant, and I looked at her and I told her, I said, there's no way it could be mine. Why did you say that? We would um, have 
sexual relationships like at least three times a day. Um, she never got pregnant until she started hanging around Andrew. There's also other women that have tried and have failed with me. Has a doctor told you this? No, Your Honor. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Did your sexual relationship with Ms. Wolf end once she found out she was pregnant? No, Your Honor. So you continued to have sex with her? Yes, Your Honor. Wow. Until when? Uh, three weeks before Zane was born. That's not true, Your Honor. It's not true because he is a um, pathological liar. He likes to lie about everything. Mr. Chittum, is this why you agreed to submit to a polygraph test to prove that you are telling the truth? Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, do you have those results here? Sure do. Because we can nip this in the bud right now. There you go. Mr. Chittum, you met with a certified polygraph expert and you were asked the following question. Did you have sexual intercourse with Sarah, which is Ms. Wolf, during her pregnancy with Zane? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. Yes, that is truthful. Only up to a I was pregnant month. and you knew that. And I never lied about that, so. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't dating Andrew until I was about three months along, Your Honor. So, so you, you're testifying that you were sleeping with him during the pregnancy. Yes. But when you started being with Mr. Cottle, you stopped sleeping with Mr. Chittum. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It was actually uh, January of this year is whenever we stopped having relationships. That's a lie. So where was she living then? Uh, with uh, Mr. Cottle. So you're saying that I had sex with you in my own boyfriend's house? You're a liar. <laughs> Are you saying that? Um, I actually do have the messages still. You do? Ooh, is this true? No, it's not. You have, he has the messages. I do have messages. I like to see that proof. And so you're saying you were intimate with Ms. Wolf at Mr. Cottle's house? Yes, Your Honor. You would go over there and Mr. Cottle would be working? Yes. How often? I say at least about once a week. Oh my God. Once a week. <laughs> and so these messages you have say what? Ask uh, for me to come over and talk. What do you need to talk about? She would uh, want me to come over and pretty much uh, please her because she kept saying that her boyfriend could not do it. Oh. Remember, you're talking to a pathological liar. I mean, they have my phone, and all my messages are on my phone. I don't delete messages. So I'd like my uh, court clerk to please hand Mr. Chittum his phone, and I want you to go in here and find these messages. Mr. Chittum, you have that phone now? I do, Your Let Honor. me see it. So this message uh, was from approximately three weeks ago. Three to four weeks ago. Wow, are you joking me? He does nothing for you? God, he got me so angry. And then the next line is, come blank me. <laughs> Just because and it I doesn't, said that it, does not mean it happened. It doesn't say talk, but it says, come blank me. He answers, why? And you answer, I need blank. <laughs> I won't read these words out loud. Wow. Then it says, last night you said you were loyal. Then it reads, I know, but I just haven't had good blank in forever. I'm sorry. Just because I say something on a text message or paper, Unless it actually happened, doesn't mean that I didn't do anything with you. And you know that. You know I did and not have sex with you. Your Honor, I will admit that uh, I did not go down there whenever she was saying all that. So now <laughs> you admit she asked but, you to have the sex, but you didn't go have the sex. Yes, Your Honor, because I had um, a girlfriend that I was uh, trying to stay loyal to. So other times you were in Mr. Cottle's house having sex with Ms. Wolf. It's just that particular time on your phone, you didn't go that time. Yes, Your Honor. Just because I get upset at my boyfriend and I do, and I did message you, 
does not mean that I had sex with you. Like, he just admitted. Miss Wolf, have, have you ever heard, heard the expression crying wolf? Mm. Yes, I have. You telling this story way too many times. Earlier, you were, you were saying what he was saying was completely not true. You had Mr. Cottle up here talking about he's a pathological liar. He's not lying. He just showed his phone, and now you admit it. You are saying to him, come over here and sleep with me. You are correct. I did... Okay. You did so, lie. you're saying he lied. I'm saying you lied, too. Both of you lying, obviously. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't sleep with him that time, I don't think Mr. Cottle appreciates the text messages alone. Yeah. You're probably... He's right. out working. <laughs> trying to take care of this household. You're just playing both men. So, Ms. Wolf, why are you so convinced Mr. Chittam is not Zane's biological... Father. I have evidence. Oh, yeah. you have an... Uh, yes. Let me see that. Jerome. And so, this conception calculator indicates you were ovulating between the 22nd and the 27th? Yes, Your Honor. And you tracked this. I mean, it is possible I it for a I woman... I planned it, yes. Oh, you tracked it and you planned it? Yes. I... Because at the time, I loved Lucas and I... And I knew he couldn't have kids and I wanted us to have a family. So, I decided to sleep with Andrew, and I knew I was ovulating at the time. I know it sounds messy, but regardless, I know when I was ovulating, and I know who had sex with me. So, wait a minute. Is this, like, revenge level 10? Yes. Here, okay, I, I mean, I'm just checking, because it's just... It's like, okay, the first revenge, sleep with him. The second revenge, get pregnant by him, because you believe he can't have children, so that's another way I stab you. Yes. Uh-huh. Also, Your Honor, he has a problem with cheating. And there's... All his girlfriends can tell you that, that. Oh, my goodness. So, when were you intimate with Mr. Cottle? The 22nd. On the 22nd? Yes. So, you were having sex with Mr. Cottle on the 22nd, and when? The 26th. And the 26th? Yes. Were you intimate with Mr. Chittam as well? Yes, Your Honor. Probably be like the 30th. Around the 30th. But also before the 22nd, I was having sex with Mr. Chittam. Okay, so during this window of time is Mr. Chittam. So, Mr. Cottle, as you look at baby Zane, do you feel like he looks like you? I really don't see it. I think he looks like Chittam. I mean, I have a slight feeling for, like, a connection as in, like, because I'm ready to have a child. And that's partially why I signed the birth certificate. Want to know for sure. It's my... So, you did sign the birth child. certificate? I sure yes, did. Your Honor. I have that, actually. He... I'll look at that, Jerome. He signed the birth certificate. He also has... My son has his middle and last name. So, if he really didn't think that it was his kid, why would you let <laughs> me put my son's, you know, name as yours? Is that Fault. true, Mr. Cottle? Yes, Your Honor. You gave the baby your name, your last name, and your middle name. Yes, Your Honor. Um, but you still doubted this child. I just felt ready for it, baby. That's why I, I put my name on there. Yeah, I'm just the nice guy. You just walked all over. Is that what, how you feel in this relationship, Mr. Cottle? Sure do. Miss Wolf, look, it's no sense of even standing here lying anymore. It sounds like you and Mr. Chittam still have something going on. Both of you still have feelings for one another. But now you done set this little ship in motion. You got this, this thing all lined up here with Mr. Cottle. And now you decided, let me see it through. I care about him as a friend, yes. But mm -hmm. I, my feelings for love for him are out the door. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Jerome. Yes. I think I heard enough. I know what's going on here, but the most important thing that we have not figured out yet is what's going on as it relates to baby Zane's paternity. And that envelope has the answer. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Wolf versus Coddle, Pertaining to whether Mr. Cottle or Mr. Chittam is the father of three-month-old Zane Cottle. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Cottle. 
told you. You are the biological father. And so where do we go from here? Um, well, I'm going to try and see where, where things are going between me and her, but it's not completely promised. Ms. Wolf, can you give Mr. Chittam up? Yes, I can. <laughs> because I'm going to be honest with you. He's never going to be comfortable being in a he's relationship with He's never going to amount to me. anything that my boyfriend is. I'm sorry, but you're a liar and a loser. Ms. Walker, you claim that your near-death experience has made your desire to determine your biological father more important than ever. Yes, Your Honor. After believing one man was your father, you learned about another possibility, Bruce Simmons. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you'll meet him for the first time in a minute, but you say you must first prove to his doubtful wife that he is your father. Yes, yes you're Well, right. okay, Ms. Simmons, you contend that there's absolutely no way your husband is Ms. Walker's biological father. No way. We you argue Ms. Back. Walker needs to let go of this fantasy and move on to another candidate. Yes. Ms. Simmons, please share your doubts. We've been together since we were 15. Wow. We just got married 2003. I have two biological kids. We never made any. I believe my husband is sterile. I believe he can't make no kids. If we've been together that long and we ain't make none together, what makes somebody just pop up and say, oh, you're the father? And so the two children you have... Are not his. Are not his. No. So you know you're capable of having yes. children. Yes. But don't believe he is. Yes. So, Ms. Walker, so why do you believe he's your biological father? Your Honor, um, I went on this search, and I didn't particularly just go out and just pick this random guy. In the beginning, I was also told that there was another man that was on my birth certificate, and I was told that was my father. So, what made you exclude the man that's on your birth certificate? I excluded him because I had, as you know, I had a near-death experience. I had to... I was going for a congestive heart failure, and I had to have a lung biopsy. And in order to have this lung biopsy, they said that I can reach out to my family, and before they went for donor blood, reach out to my family and ask if they would go and donate blood. So I called my uh, dad that I was told that was and asked him to go and asked his family all to go down and give blood so I wouldn't have to have donor blood. So after everything was said and done, the doctors comes into me and told me, um, the uh, guy that you were thinking that your father and this is not something that's supposed to be told to you, but there's no possible way we wasn't able to use his blood. We had to use donor blood. And so, how did you connect to the name Bruce Simmons? Okay, my mother had to go to Jersey, where I resided when I was a child, and his sister reached out to my mom in the middle of the road, stopped her, hey, 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 I've be been looking for my niece. And my mom came back That's to not Florida. How it my at mom all. came back to Florida that is not how it happened. and was like, hey, listen, let me tell you something. I think I might have a possibility of who your dad is. So I'm like, okay, go ahead, give her my number. They gave me my number. She reached out to me. She was like, well, we knew about you since you were a baby. Your mom That's had you around. Not, and then all of a sudden, happened, she Honor. went off. And this is all. Bruce Simmons' sister. sister. Yes. And that is not how it happened. Talking to you. Yes. All right. She cool. So... Miss Simmons, you say that's not how it happened. No, it's not. Were how you it there? No, I wasn't. Well, how there. did it happen? Because the sister called him and said, Bruce, I met so and so and so. She asked me for your number. She believed you are her daughter's father. So I said, first of all, your sister should have called you first for permission to give out your number. You have a wife. I believe that's disrespectful for me. Come, ask me first, is it okay? Okay, now he's talking to her on the phone. Oh, call this one. Call... Why is you giving out your family numbers to people that you don't even sure that's your daughter yet? What's it to you? you? It's, it's a lot to me. You? That's What's my husband. To you? But I'm but not so asking y'all for nothing. I don't is, want nothing. I just want to know who I understand it, that, but he put, No, you don't. You building somebody... You building somebody... No, I don't. ...to spare it up. All right, Miss Simmons, with all due respect, I have to ask you, are you upset that she made contact, or are you upset that your husband may be her biological no, father? No, no, never that. Never that, because he wants to be a father. He hold on, to. hold on, hold on. You say none of that. None of that. I'm not so upset. So, what are you upset for? Because this cannot be your home state. It's the way they went about it. He reached out to 
okay. to me. He reached out to me. People. I didn't contact him. I never him. heard of her mother. Never heard of her. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So your anger stems from you just felt like in this equation, they left you out. Exactly. And I was upset for the way the sister went about it. Like I said. How so you, you I, felt like his sister overstepped her body. Yes. Yes. How you? All right. Exactly. So, Ms. Walker, when you first connected with Mr. Simmons, what happened? Well, I get this message of, hi, Parthenia, my name is Bruce Simmons and I'm your father. Call me back. And I was just stunned. So I played it for my boss. I played it for my mom. I played it for my husband when I got home. I played it for my kids. I called <laughs> everybody and I just kept playing this message because just to have that little bit of hope of where you belong, it, it means my, a whole lot. Your and so, a lot. Ms. Your, your Walker, honor. even though you got that message, you have never met Mr. Simmons. Never. No. Now, I've day. seen his sister. I've lived in the same town. You know, he's seen me, from my understanding of what he said, he's seen me as a baby. When I was brought around as a baby, um, him and my mother were in a relationship, I guess on a breakup here, as well as he in a relationship, never break, it was as, never a relationship, as well as a relationship. That's your say. I'm not. No, that's about what, what you he said. It came from so, Miss Walker, did Mr. Simmons tell you he believed that he's your father? Yes, ma'am. He did. <laughs> he did. He did. Jerome, I think it's time we meet Mr. Yeah, Simmons. Yeah, please bring him in. Please. Hello. Can I give you a hug? Oh. Yana. Mr. Simmons, welcome. You? Thank you for joining us here today. Yes. So we are discussing the paternity as it relates to Ms. Walker. Mm -hmm. Now, she says that you contacted her and said you believe you are her biological father. Yes. This now, take me back. Well... Tell me about the relationship with her mother. Well, me and her mother got together. I was trying to get her sister, her mother's sister. Oh. That's how I really started out. And okay. when what had happened, her mother pushed up and said that I'm going to make you my man because her sister wasn't that into me at that time. And we was like, you know, courting each other. They called it courting back then. And we made plans to spend that weekend together. Okay. So we spent that weekend together. And then after that, we lost touch with each other because, I, I mean, she just, she just, just turned around weekend. and she upped and left. Okay, so when you say you spent the weekend together, yeah. let's be clear, you were intimate with her. Intimate with for two days, yes. No protection no used. No protection, no nothing. But was in a relationship before that, because he just it's, said, said that we they were... were in, well, Miss Walker, yes, we understand that it was okay. not a one-night drunken booty call at the yeah, Simmons it suggested. That's all I want to say. He said three, 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 three nights was, a week, and they fact, spent the weekend together. Well, your husband That's already testified. That's not a relationship. They a court court weekend each is other. not a relationship. They That's courted relationship. each other. That's not no relationship. They courted <laughs> each other. They spent a weekend together. I'm like, you need a And here. then your mother left for whatever reason. Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is, when she left, did you ever find out or know she was pregnant? No, I did not. When she found out that, when I found out that she was pregnant, she had the child, was when she come walking around the corner and she was, had a baby in a stroller. Cause I didn't know until she walked up on the porch and said, okay, this is your child. And she gave me a picture. And immediately I went upstairs and I showed the picture to my father. And I said, did she have any resemblance to the family? And to him, he, he turned around and said, you better have a test. This is what my father said. At that time, when I came back downstairs, she was having a dispute with the other lady that I was involved with, and she left. So here it is now. We come 26 years later down the line, and... And she's call, having yeah. another dispute no, she called, with she called somebody me you're involved with. Yeah. It's interesting how history repeats itself. Yeah. yeah. When his potential daughter was right before his very eyes, her mother got into a dispute with the woman that he was with. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now his potential daughter is right before his very eyes again, but it, she's in a dispute with the woman that he's with. Do you believe you're sterile as Do your I wife? Do I believe I'm sterile? Now, my wife says so. Now, me, <laughs> me and, and that's her, and I don't know practically, practically nothing. I've learned from a doctor, he said that my sperm system was weak. It didn't say that I was sterile, you know what I'm saying? So, for her to say that I was sterile, it wasn't God's intention for her to have any children by me. And I leave it at that point. And it was God's intention that she, her mother probably had the kid by me. All right, so, Miss Walker, what are the 
the other reasons outlined for the court? What your are the other Honor, reasons why I you believe he's of, your father? I have a lot of medical issues, as well as my children have the medical issues. All six of my children, excluding myself, has asthma. My mama don't have asthma, my grandma don't have asthma, my granddaddy don't have asthma, but I found Mr. out... Mr. Simmons, do you have I asthma? I have asthma. Okay. And it runs in my okay, family. Okay, can I say my something? My son has asthma. I have my asthma. My son that has diabetes. My he's 12 years old. My son has juvenile diabetes. On the men's side of their family, run Diabetes. diabetes, yes. The cancer, I have, my, me and my daughters have a rare cancer cell that runs on their side of the family as well. So even if it's not him, somewhere in this long of line of right, I'm, I'm somewhere close to finding out. That's because... one reason why I'm propelled to really find out because there is a medical history in my family. And so ultimately, whether or not she is your biological yeah. child, she's still a young woman a young with woman. very real needs to health know issues father. and a lot rides on the results we present here. We say all the time, there are no small claims in paternity court. Mm -hmm. However, in this situation, we can truly say that your life depends on these results. I mean, I have no animosity, no illness towards her. I'm just like, I'm married myself, and if somebody was to come out and say, okay, this is a possibility that you might be my... Guess what? I'm not gonna battle him. Let's find out. I'm not gonna have no ill will about with the woman. I'm not gonna have no ill will with the child because at the end of the day, I'm the innocent one because whoever, whatever she has animosity, that's what my mama and him. Because guess what, y'all weren't but together. But my point is, it should have been done. I've been telling him, get a blood test. Stop signing on the dotted line. Stop claiming kids but unless what you is know that you're. about to you? You got two kids that's not his. And he's uh, uh, they mind though. They mind he's though. Them. They so mind and, and he's raised them. They mind. I know who my kids okay. are. The whole let's, thing bust let's, down to let's, one. Let's bring it down a notch. Yes. When he first reached out and called me, Your Honor, when he first reached out and called me, we were talking good. He ta he called me once a week. And this is not no 8, 9. These are 10, 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning phone calls because he's hiding from his wife. But this is just ridiculous. You all are acting like you all are two women he's involved with intimately. This is no, a no, young no, woman. No, like I, no, no, like no. Like I, no, no. What I, am, what I am observing is a level of animosity, Jerome, that we see with two women that are involved in the same man sexually, not involved with the same man because he's your husband. She can't take that away, but he uh, potentially I, I might be but her biological father, which you why can't he, take he away. We don't have to sneak and talk to anybody on the phone. Why is he sneaking? Because ask you, him. Because you Thank are. You. Ask him. Every time I come out the room. He's on the phone and he's talking real low. Ask I do him. ask him. Ask him. I, I do ask him. Why are you sneaking, I, sir? When, my reasons for sneaking is because I, like, I suffer from a low self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want no conflict. I feel just scared because I don't want to be... You don't want to hurt either corner. person. Yeah, I don't. And so what you do is you avoid the conflict. How, how you a man, but you got to bow down to a woman? It's not... A, if I'm not going to bow down to I'm married. It's not... No, it's not no, it don't have no, nothing to do with no. bowing down. I can't find out. My point is very respectful. Let's get some order. Yes. I'm really, really trying to figure out, Miss Simmons, why. There is so much anger and animosity because I don't think anybody's after you or after your life. And look, even if you believe the process wasn't the, the right way, mm -hmm. when you look at a beautiful young woman okay. that has... Now, now, let me finish a sentence because, see, I'm not your husband. I got to finish a sentence. Yeah, I know you So let me husband. explain this to you. It's just a, an innocent young woman that doesn't know who her father is. And if it is your husband or not your husband, it doesn't take anything away from you to be kind and open to it, even and if you feel but like... You might let no, 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 no. Why I feel I the get, way I feel, though. But I get... Ma'am, I have. I asked you before why the anger, and you said it was about the process okay. that they didn't go okay. about and it right. With, no, like I, I don't want to get into it a lot. The I just want you, and stuff, but I want you to she understand. She already didn't like me from the beginning because I'm saying because something Because of to what you put up on a Facebook. we're not going to argue about the Facebook. I'm just saying to you, you're a woman that's lived a lot of life, and this is a young woman that hopes to live the long life you have. And part of the way that she can do that is to figure out her history. And uh, look, I'm a woman of a certain age myself. Uh -huh. I'm just saying to you directly, it serves you no good to 
in any way argue about this. Just support your husband. I'm ready for the results, okay. and I'm hoping during that process, whatever it is, respect the fact that she needs and deserves to know. Yes, Jerome, the envelope. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Walker v. Simmons, when it comes to 30-year-old Parthenia Walker, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Bruce Simmons, you are not her father. I'm sorry. I wish to put it better, but... It's okay. It's whatever God has it. Miss Walker, I'm sorry this was not the answer you it's wanted. It's okay. I know you're looking for closure for more reasons than just the spiritual, emotional closure. You need the medical information. Yes. And for that reason and more, I am encouraging you to continue your search. Mr. Simmons, yes. I appreciate you being open with this young girl. And Miss Simmons, despite the anger I saw you express, when the results came down, you just took a beat and just gave her a moment to process it. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for that. You're welcome. Because ultimately, this is a really serious situation. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And I want you to find your biological father, oh, I'm, okay? I'm gonna find him. I'm determined. Miss Scott McCrae, yeah. you claim that you've been supporting your daughter, Miss Scott, and her seven children long enough. Yes. You say that your daughter's husband is a deadbeat. And you wish she'd leave this man and get off the system. Miss Scott McCrae, you are suing your daughter for $3,900 in unpaid loans. Yes, ma'am. Miss Scott, you say your mother was an addict when you were younger and now tries to act holier than thou. Yes. You believe that your mother is jealous of you and wants your husband. Yes. Oh. Wow. You say Miss Scott McCrae never told you to pay her back. No. Miss Scott, you petitioned the court for a lie detector test to know once and for all if your mother wants your man. Yes. We will reveal those results later today. Okay. Now, Miss Scott McCrae, why are you so intent on breaking up your daughter and her husband? Your Honor, I don't want to break up my daughter and her husband, but my daughter needs a wake-up call. She's very intelligent. She's smart. I mean, she has goals, and she had aspirations when she was younger that I've seen her just lose total sight of. He's a deadbeat. He's not a good provider. He hinders his family more so, I think, than he can help it. How does he hinder his family? He can't keep a job for more than a week or two. He has a job. When he just did he got get a job. Last week? It doesn't matter how long he got is he going to keep working. it. Two so weeks? Scott McCray. How long is he going to keep it? Just let it be known, Ma. You just, you, you wish you had a man <laughs> like him, oh and that's why God. you claim him to be a deadbeat, because oh. that's what you're used to having, and that's what oh. you want me to have. You're after him. You're after my man. Ms. Scott McCray, why are you calling your daughter's husband a deadbeat? If I have five children depending on me, and they need things in the morning to sustain them while they're at daycare, and this man, What's the toy, things they need? Toy, to I, them. Wanted, what, what I was, they need? I was they sleeping lacking? in what their den. They? Okay. I was sleeping in their den. I watched Toy one night, particularly. He went into the kitchen three or four times, and the whole night he was eating cereal. He was eating cereal. And that's just okay, what they did. That was in a bed. That's what they okay, were doing. Okay, but did that However, take cereal out of my no, children's mouth? No, it didn't take the no, cereal. They couldn't eat the cereal because they didn't okay. have milk. Why are you oh, only so he drank up all the milk? You saying only she had to ask who's me for somebody milk? Somebody be on little okay, things like she that. had to ask me for milk. Because I'm trying to understand this story. Your mother has accused your husband of being a deadbeat, but and now she said he ate, he ate all the cereal. And you know what? They couldn't eat the cereal because they didn't have milk to put on the cereal. And so, that might be a crime in some houses. You know right? what? It, it, it's but not you so much as that he ate the cereal. He didn't leave she, he didn't any leave for the milk, children, Knowing that those point. children had, was gonna need milk so in for the, the morning, next morning the to take to daycare, up. there was no milk okay, for their bottles. Besides the cereal incident and the milk issue, mm -hmm. what, else what is other there? reason would you accuse her He won't her work. His, his last job that he had, 
Celeste was working two jobs. The reason he quit his job is so he could go home and babysit the kids. Excuse me, he didn't quit his job, but that's what she ran and told everybody like she always does, tells everybody our business. He was late off. Mm. If a job runs out of work, they lay you off. But so the why was he fired is, from is okay. mm. your daughter and her husband decided that maybe it was more financially beneficial for him to quit his job or if he was laid off, decide that he wouldn't go back to work so that he could take care of the kids. Isn't that a family decision? Your Honor, not when you're getting evicted every six to seven months. It's not, it shouldn't uh -oh. be a family decision. Oh, we get mm. evicted Not every when it's getting, yes, months. every year, every year. They're good. They get. They do good but at tax time. But let you tell that you paid our rent for five or six months. So that, that's when I was staying with you on, when I when you over but on Tucker CG. And as soon as I moved out, y'all got evicted month. because you yeah, couldn't because continue to pay the rent. Yeah, because you gave me a rent. bounce check. No, I gave Your it. Honor. I didn't give you a bounce we check. We were in a bond. I canceled Wait, the we check. We were in a bond. Stop, no. Oh, sorry. you canceled it. I canceled four hundred dollars of it. Mike had an eight hundred dollar check. But I had to take four of it to move out of your house because I got sick and tired right, of living in the situation. But that was behind my back, though. You're it, I don't. I didn't do it to you at all. You live with I us did, for a so year. I lived with you for three months. months. I can't. Three I months. I cannot hear the story with both three of you months. arguing back and forth at one another. Miss Scott, tell me the story. You said your mom wrote your bounce check. Yes, yeah, she came <laughs> to live with us from Asheville. She was in treatment. She left treatment. She got clean. She came and lived with us because she oh. didn't have anywhere else to go. For the first year, we did not ask her for no money. Oh Every week Lord. she got her unemployment, she used oh her money Lord. on her. If I did go to her for dollars here and there, okay, you living with us. She didn't have to buy no food. Ooh. She didn't have to buy no hygiene. Ooh. 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 She did not have to do none of that. Ooh. Now, at the end of the year, we got Ooh. in the bind. Okay, this woman, she met this man, okay, uh, uh, sewing her royal oats or whatever it's called. She met him. Now, she's acting like a little high school girl while she was living with us, sleeping with him in the house, like, one morning. We getting the kids ready for, for daycare. If Toy wouldn't have walked in the living room, the kids would have seen her full moon. Oh! oh. What? Oh, my God. And, and I don't even... What? I've never I, even... I don't know if I want to know, but... <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm. Doing, oh. doing what, what having the, sex with the children, having sex. You're right, but oh, in my in home, the front room? early in the in the front on lie, the couch, Your That's Honor. That's a lie, Your Honor. Grandma, you That's were not lie, having Your sex Honor. in the front room. That's a lie, Your Honor. What about when we looked out the back window and you was out there in the car with them? I don't know nothing oh. about that. I bet you don't. I don't know nothing about that. Anyway, Your Honor. But Celeste, so, you know what? I'm grown. This part of I'm the, grown. Towards this part Rather of the than have sex in your house, I may have done it in the car. If she's doing these you know, adult business in our home and disrespecting us like that, then let's ask her to help us with the rent. We were two months behind. We needed mm -hmm. to give him $1,200. Mm -hmm. I went to my mother and told her, we got half in cash. Can you meet me the other half of the way so we all still have a place to live? She told me yes. She told me, I'll take y'all cash and give you a check for the full amount. My landlord called me and said, well, this check I'm at the bank and it's not going through. It's not clearing. Mm -hmm. I'm calling my mom. She ain't answering the phone. I didn't have to pay your bill, Celeste. So, I but you I didn't agreed have to, to and, and, I and paid your grandchildren I, I were involved. what I agreed to pay. And when I took the other portion and moved into my place, I had to take care of me. You really don't like your daughter's husband. I don't respect him. Okay. Well, if you I don't respect no, him, has he been him, faithful yeah. to okay, your daughter? It, has he gotten anything right? Has he been faithful? If she no, he has not. Him, my daughter why has actually she always come home touching on him from the hospital <laughs> and caught her husband naked in their house with another woman. Oh! He almost lost a thumb because what? of it. And That's when I say no Okay, good. but if I forgave him for that, why can't you? It ain't about me it's not my forgiving husband. him. I just why don't you like still got to bring it up? You. I don't like the way he does you and your family. So why, why, you, why you do know, you feel that it's your... Can I your, say something, Yana? You when know, I let you know... I okay. think y'all, both of y'all need some help. Oh, but because you don't. Your mind you is don't, wrapped around toy to the degree that I think he controls so much of your, your life that you can't even see too. straight. I, how? How? Because this whole issue is because of toy. Let you tell it. This whole issue is because I He's think a you need some in help her, in with her your eyes, family. But when she comes to my home, the only name you hear out of her mouth is Toy. Toy, can you help me do this? Toy, can you grab this? Toy, can Why you fix me this? Toy, will you fix this? Is Toy, that true, you come and look at this? That's not true, Your Honor. Oh, my goodness. That is so not true. Okay, I'm what really about what about the, the day when we was in the home having, having a couple of drinks, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. She's about to leave. I walk her out. 
to her car. Uh -huh. Now, she got in her car, crank it up. So, of course, you know, bye, Mom. I turned around to go back in the house, but something just told me to, you know, just look back out the door. I look out the door. She done got out her car, walked up to our car where Toy was sitting, uh -huh. and, and kissed him on his cheek. A slobbery kiss. If he would have turned oh, his face, they would have been tongue kissing. What was that even for? You know oh, what's And then her I exact words were, husband, no, son in law, enemy. you're the best son in law I ever had. No. I just love you. But if he's a dad. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. Miss Ma, I seen lying. you. She's lying. Let's get some water. Let's get some water. to hear from Mr. Young. Please stand up, mm. sir. <laughs> Step to the podium. Well, a lot has been said about you today. Yes, ma'am. And I want to know what you have to add to this. She always touching me on my chest. What chest? <laughs> she always patting on me. She always saying, you do more than I can't get my son or the man I'm sleeping with to do, to have me to come oh and do things. Oh, my God. What is she, uh, she even called, she even came out the blue one day to even come and get me by myself to come and pick up a tent for her. A $30 tent, her $30 grown from son family dollars. and the man she's and sleeping my, with in the same house. They were all there when he put that tent up. And if I'm not mistaken, I didn't come and get y'all. Y'all came to my house right, that but, day. But like he I said, at first, him. when they she came, came to, to my house, she was like, I'm going to take Toy to the house so, so he can put up my tent. So you believe, you said, believe no, as believe. well she has a little crush on you? I believe she, That's yeah, she have a little crush and yeah, she have a little mental both problem. Twisted now, Miss Scott McCray has taken a lie detector hmm. test as it relates to this issue. Okay. Thank you. And uh, we're going to get to that in a moment. She accuses you, Mr. Young, of being a deadbeat. Yes, yes, for me to be a deadbeat, I would get an unemployment every week when I was working. I was working at the Blake Hotel. And what did you that do she with? have me to work there, right? I sure did. I was making checks. I was paying my rent on time. I was just short of a little bit of cash. But us used to go ask her to, for the change to pick what we have. She always used to come and... Wait, wait, back it up. What's that, what's that phrase? Some change to... Pick to put, the like, rest. Sometimes we may come short. Okay. Now, the only person I have here is my mother and my father. The only people he have here is his grandmother and his grandfather. So if we're short, we got seven kids, Your Honor. Six boys and, and one, girl, one girl, Your Honor, wow. that we take care of every day. Yeah. So sometimes you're saying I you I need a little help. Mm. A little help. What family with seven so kids? So when you say, I just want to be clear when he said we asking for some change, because when I'm thinking of change, I'm thinking of quarters and nickels. No, I'm no, not no, maybe a hundred dollars. Maybe a hundred dollars. All of it. Maybe a hundred dollars yeah. we may okay. have had to ask her for. Mm -hmm. But still, that don't give her no right to parade around the mm -hmm. job and just tell, tell everybody. everybody. That I'm working around all the people I work around that toy. Uh, can you help honor. them? That's a lie, uh, so that that never uh, My boss, that man, never she used to happened. go to my boss, man. Everybody that even worked there she knew who I was and knew who he was to me. I no, didn't have to no, say a word. No, Wait, you no. would be I didn't have to say a at word. his job? I worked there. I helped him get the job. Okay. But how could I they was know a, who I was? I was human resources manager. But that don't manager don't I don't, mean don't, go I, around your the business. I could care less about his business. All right, let's get some order. Mr. Young is, you have this job. Are you having trouble sustaining employment over a long period of time? No, no. That's a nice way of asking, can you keep a job? No, 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 no ma'am, no, ma'am. You're no, right. No, he can't. No. No. It, it he just... said he can't. That's right. He no, can't. he said no. he can't. No. <laughs> now, no, he can't. Why is it that you can't keep one? Because the job always ending. The, so the, you have temporary or seasonal right. work. Yes, yes, ma'am. Now, a lot of people work temporary and seasonal work, so yes. I completely understand that. Are you using your best efforts to provide for these seven yes, children? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No. Okay. Well, if so. not, if not, they look well kept to me. That's because you do it. That's because they we do it. We're both in the home. Thing. You're not going to No, you're not going to no. He got to get something out of the deal. Let me get to your suit. Now... Ms. Scott McRae, you are suing your daughter for $3,900. Yes. For money you say you've loaned her yeah, over I the years. That I never knew was a loan, Your Honor. And, I'm sorry? That I never knew was a loan. She knew, because okay. every time I gave her anything, I said, Sylvester, I need this back. Oh. Okay. Goodness. You're saying it was a loan. Yes. Do you have any proof from the court? I have bank statements showing the times that my money went into the bank, highlighting when it came out and, and the times that it Hand came out. Hand those to the bailiff, please. Jerome, let me see those. Oh. You say $3,900 for rent, 
money for food and clothes. Now, I see bank withdrawals, Ms. Scott McRae, but they're just counter withdrawals for cash. Yes, and it would come, the cash that I would give to them to help pay their bills or pay the rent or that I would pay to the landlord. Do you have any receipts from the landlord no, when don't, you gave sir, him rent? No, I don't, because I never asked for receipts. He took, I, he dealt that, did dealt you, with them for did that. Did you get an IOU or a promissory note from your daughter no, and her I husband didn't, Your Honor, for money that you've loaned? Because I always took her for her word that she would pay me back. I can see here where you've withdrawn substantial amounts of money. And I also can see here where you've made purchases at stores where there could potentially be for your daughter, her husband, or the children. What you don't have is any independent evidence that shows that this was a loan that you required her to pay back. Without something in writing, it is not proven that it's a loan. Are we clear? We're clear? The ruling on that. is for the defendant. I understand. Now it's time for the lie detector results. Jerome, do you have the envelope? Before I read these lie detector results, it is your contention that your mother has feelings and affections for your husband. It has to be something And else. maybe wants to be with him. Yes. Oh. What do you think these lie detector results are going to show? <laughs> the truth. And Definitely. if she doesn't want my husband, my mother's like Jacqueline Hyde. Oh. One minute, she's bashing. The next minute, she's loving. And I, I'm getting tired of that, Your Honor. I want her mm. to be a mother. Just straight up and down mother. All right, let's get to the results. I'd like to know what your interpretation Ms. of that Scott is. Ms. Scott McCray, you were asked, have you ever made any sexual advances towards your son-in-law toy? You said no. No. And the lie detector determined Ms. Scott McRae, you were asked, have you ever made any sexual advances towards your son-in-law toy? You said no. No. And the lie detector determined that was the truth. Yes, it was. Yes, it Ms. Was. Scott McRae, you were asked if you want a sexual relationship Ooh. with your son-in-law toy. Made my head hurt. You said no, and the lie detector determined that was the, the truth. truth. Yes, it was. Okay, okay, yes, okay. It was. All right. And that's what I would that's what I would rather hear. I want to say this. Now that you all have gotten the answers that you came for, Miss Scott McCray, your daughter has chosen to stay with her husband. I can, I see that. Your and honor. you have to respect that. And I do. Daughter, I stay out of the way. Miss Scott, you have your husband and you have your family. Yes. But let's be honest. When the blank hits the fan, you always call your mother. I do. Yes. And I do, Your Honor. And yes. she's there for you in whatever capacity she can be there. Don't minimize that. I wish you all the best of luck and encourage you to just forgive and forget a little. Life's too short. Courts adjourn. Thank you. Thank you.